How y'all both doing? And welcome to the Cable Company. Uh, my name is Gator, and uh, I was just thinking about history. Uh, you know, that's what I, I you hear me talk uh, a lot about history. And uh, well, you know, history. <coughs> excuse me, history. History. Uh, history tells us that uh, going into the space is our, you know, is our best bet. You know. Because, uh, you know, the, the, uh, I used to watch this uh, Stink Protocol. Uh, it's on the internet when I had my uh, computer and all. And uh, I used to watch it. Uh, it was, that's a, uh, just a re reliable, uh, I, I guess you would say that's a Christian thing. But anyway, uh, this, this, one, this is just a few things I wanted to tell you about. Uh, the first privately funded manned space flight. Uh, was on June the 21st, 2004, uh, Spaceship One, a spacecraft designed, built, and operated by Scaled Composites of Mahoma, California, USA, and funded by Paul G. Allen, USA, reached an altitude of 328,492 feet, piloted by Mike Melville, USA, it took off uh, from and landed at the Mojave Airport. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the largest impact crater, the Vent Vredo Fort crater near Jonesburg, South Africa, has an estimated diameter of 186 miles and is the largest of about 150 known impacts formed 2 billion years ago when an asteroid or comet struck Earth. It is large enough to accommodate more than 270,000 tennis courts. Uh, most astronomers believe that a planet the size of Mars collided with Earth 4.5 billion years ago. Some of the debris from the cataclysm went into orbit around the Earth and collected uh, together under its own gravity to form the moon. The effect of the impact would have been devastating to the Earth. The planet's crust would probably have been blasted off into space, leaving behind an Earth uh, whose entire surface was an ocean of molten magma. Um, on August the 23rd, 2002, a team of U.S. scientists led by Gary Byerly, Louisiana State University, and Donald Lowe, Stanford University, announced their discovery on the impact of an asteroid on Earth 3.47 billion years ago. Uh, geological evidence suggests that the asteroid had a diameter of about 12 miles, but no crater has been found as Earth's geological processes have plenty of time to erase it. Um, a meteorite measuring 9 foot long and 2 and 8 foot wide and weighing an estimated 130,000 um, was found in 1920 at Haba, West Nab Nabia. About 30 of the meteorites on Earth originated from the moon. The largest is Dal Al Ghani 400 with a mass of 3 pounds and 2 24 ounces. It was discovered in Libya in 1998. Uh, at 40 pounds, uh, the Zagami meteorite, which struck Earth on October 3, 1962, in a field near Zangamai, Nigeria, is the largest of at least 30 meteorites known to have originated from Mars. Uh, a cheek kite weighing 7 pounds was discovered in 1932 at Mong Nong, La Laos. Laos. It is, or Laos, it is now on display at the Paris Museum in France. Um, nearly an eighth of the world's land surface is arid, and uh, with a rainfall of less than 10 and 25 a year, in the Sahara in the North Africa is the largest hot desert in the world, and its greatest length is three. 3,200 miles from east to west, and from north to south it is between 800 and 14 miles uh, long. The area covered by the desert is about 3,579,000 miles. 
you've got the uh, the uh, the monarchy uh, it's a white mountain on the island of Hawaii, USA. It's the world's tallest mountain from submarine base to its Hawaiian trough to its peak. It has a combined height of 33,480 feet, of which 13,796 feet is above sea level. Huh. That's something in it. In Alaska, USA, Mount McKinley is 20,320 feet. Uh, and can be seen from Mount Zanford, 16,237 feet, a direct distance of 230 miles. Ain't that something? Okay, uh, have, uh, the young Yong Zangbo Valley Tibet has an average depth of 16,400 feet, but in 1994, explorers discovered that its deepest point was 17,600 feet. 57 feet, three times deeper than the Grand Canyon, and sufficient to house a stack of almost 10 CN towers, the world's tallest tower. Hey, well, that's great. Um, this is the uh, this is the um, the Andes in the South America stretches for 4,700 miles across seven countries, and includes more than 50 peaks of over 20,000 feet high for most of its extent. It is about 200 miles wide. The Landscape Arch in the Arches uh, National Park and Kolob Arc in Zion National Park, both in Utah, USA, stand over opening 310 foot wide. Landscape Arch is in more dramatic as it spans an open gully and narrows to only 16 feet thick. Uh, Rainbow Ridge in Lake Powell National Monument, Utah, is just 270 feet long, but rises to a height of 290 feet, nearly twice the height of the Statue of Liberty. I'm going to get into some of those buildings, you know. I, uh, I tell you about my family had the... Uh, has all this uh, property and the uh, uh, big, beautiful buildings. And Chateau Waikiki is 350 feet tall. I'm gonna show you some buildings, man. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let you see some of them big buildings that they got. Um, the the uh, about 400, about 248 million years ago, at the end of the Permian geological period, a mass extinction wiped out approximately 90% of all marine species and 70% of all higher land animals. Factors that could have contributed to it include comet or asteroid impact, uh, environmental change owing uh, to Earth's shifting continents, and changes in the composition of the oceans. And, uh, uh, so it, you know this um about <clears throat> meter eight measuring nine feet long and eight foot wide weighing an estimated hundred thirty thousand pounds was found in nineteen twenty at Hobo West Nebia. I read that to you. Okay, I think I did. Huh? Um, this is uh, this is just one of the reasons that we need to get it off this plant right here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that's a, that's a. That's a devastating. You see the Tomachis or whatever you call them? They took out, there's one that took out 90, 92,000 people. Oh, that, that was right here, wasn't it? I seen that uh, somewhere. I was reading it. I didn't say, what's is that? Uh, hey, listen to this, y'all. This is bad, man. The greatest, <clears throat> the volume of matter discharged in the eruption of Taboa, a volcano on the Indian Indonesian island of Sabawa in April of 1815 was 36 to 43 miles, a volume equivalent of, to that of 72,000 Great Pyramids. This compares with about 16 miles of matter ejected by San Antonio, that's Greece, and 5 miles by Kakwa uh, Tambaro, also holds the record for the highest death toll from a volcano. An estimated 92,000 people were killed following the 1815 eruption. The Siberian Traps eruption 
uh, began 248.3 million years ago and lasted 1 million years. The volume of lava that erupted in this event is estimated at several million miles, enough to cover the Earth's surface at a depth of a few yards. Uh, in 1983, eruption, or in 1883, eruptions from the Kukatoa, Indonesia, was heard 2,908 miles away by people on the Rodriguez Islands. This makes that the loudest noise heard by humans in recorded history. It erupted with a force nearly 10,000 times that of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. It caused a wave. Uh, 131 feet high, which carried a steamship a distance of 1.5 miles. Uh, this is the, um, uh, Mount Erebus, an active volcano standing 12,447 feet high, is located on Ross Island in the Southern Ocean. Uh, this is the, uh, hey, okay, this is, uh, Par, what is that, Parcian, 200 miles west of Mexico City. Mexico is a volcanic cone that erupted from a cornfield on February 20, 1943 and was active until 1953. Most of the activity occurred the first year when the volcanic cone grew to a height of 1,100 feet offering geologists a rare opportunity to witness the birth, evolution, and the death of a volcano. <laughs> That's wild. And then this was in Nagarongo, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, formerly there, erupted on January 10, 1977. Lava burst through the volcano's flank and up to 40 miles an hour. Around 2,000 people died when it hit the city of Gama. The landslide on the Mount St. Helens on May 18, 1980 was the largest witness by a survivor. About 96,000 million feet of rock slipped off the mountain prior to the eruption, equivalent to a block of every earth nearly 0 0.8 miles high, wide, and long. The longest and deepest uh, lava cave uh, and open tube down the inside of a lava flow is Kazumra Cave on, ha on Hawaii, USA. The 36.9 mile long cave descends 3,604 feet down in the eastern flank of the Kitoi uh, volcano. In 1973, the Elf volcano on the Icelandic island of Hemisi erupted and vast quantities of molten lava flowed toward the town of Vestmanager. One third of the town was destroyed before islanders could defend the remaining area by spraying vast quantities of water onto the approaching lava, forcing it to cool and solidify to form a series of rock dams. The world's most active volcano is the Kilauea in Hawaii, USA, which has erupted continuously since 1983. Lava is being discharged from the volcano at a rate of 176.5 feet, feet per second, hence the Hawaiian name Kilauea which means spewing or much spreading. Uh, I can't say them. I can't say them names. I'm sorry. I just my mind just won't let me. I'm too dumb. I guess. But I just uh, you know I've noticed that a lot of those uh, names that uh, you know, over. I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm never gonna say you know gonna say Japan or China or something like that. It's uh, USA. I said damn, I ain't never heard of that called that. You know right over here in California and shit. But uh, anyway, the, uh, the, the, the the point I'm making is that we're destroying this planet, and we we've got to slow down on doing that. And uh, and we got the sun, and the sun can keep us, uh, give us all the power we need. 
and we need to get out there in the space, and we need, you know, we got to get, uh, we got to get out there and get to, uh, get to another damn uh, plant, because this one here is fishing, and go bye-bye, I believe. I really do. And, uh, and if it, you know, he think, oh, wow, that's a, damn, that's a bad thing. You know what's even worse than that? That's a, that may, that may, be, that may never come. That's just a figment of my imagination, you know, but, okay, well, hey, you know, something got us here, something put the moon there, something did all that, you know, boom, boom, boom. Okay, well, it's all happening. Uh, and that's nothing we can change. We can't change that. But when them people at that hospital, and the Northeast Georgia Medical Association inside the Gainesville Hospital up there in Gainesville, Georgia, in, in Georgia, in the United States of America, uh, they put an organ donor tag on my girl, Lisa. I don't know if you can see her right there. She is. They put a donor tag on her. We were together 10 years on my anniversary. Our 10th anniversary, she died, died the day after. Our anniversary was on the 24th of September. She died on the 25th. The coroner pronounced her dead on the 25th. The mother daughter had her pronounced 18. September 18th, and then on the 22nd, I believe it was. And then on the 25th, the coroner did it. Uh, seven days, it just wasn't right. And they took my girl's life, and uh, she had a dream to come back. There's no way she could have done, uh, computed all the stuff. That, you know, here I am in this hospital, because she told us, she named it. She told me, and she told I'm a witness, and she told some other ones that, uh, you know, I, and, they, and they know the, the truth. We know the truth. And she was alive, and she wasn't brain dead. Or, you know, she couldn't have come back and told herself all that. And then you got that little girl, you don't want to believe in no hocus pocus, believe me or nothing like that, believe she done that. Okay, look at that little girl in California that was brain dead for three years. And poor doctor said that she was brain dead. There's no way she could have been brain dead. Uh, and, and like they said, and wake up after three years, and then she'd run around playing if her brain had been dead, okay? Your brain is dead when all your organs are stopped. That's just a, I don't know, that's just a dang small-mindedness in us people to believe you. That's a, uh, you know, that's what it is. But no, bull crap, man. Okay, you got. They got to do everything they can for you, and Lisa's grandbaby law will stop them from using brain dead as a tool to take your organ and shooting fifty four thousand dollars into two hundred one dollars into a patient in seven days. Uh, may be criminal. I may. I believe this may be criminal right there, and they need to go to prison. And I want to pull a switch on them. Okay, I don't want to do that. They say, hey, you know, you always say revenge, retaliation. Uh, you know, every bit of, hey, man, my girl, man, she was begging me, hey, stop them, Gator. You got to stop them from doing this. Why? I couldn't stop them because you got the laws and the laws, and everybody, is you a police, or you're a damn doctor and nurse, and you're in, the, uh, the, or in that damn business and all that. You listen to what I'm saying. You think this is right? Well, you need to go and shoot your goddamn self then. Okay, because this is wrong to take a person's life like that, and that, that's wrong because she ain't got no money and no insurance. There's something wrong with that, okay? Lacey's grandbaby law ain't gonna stop it. I can't do nothing for her, but I can. She begged me, is you gotta stop them, Gator, and this is what I'm, I'm gonna do it the rest of my damn life if I have to. Okay, let's stop that. You help me, okay? If you wanna write to me, Mitchell Iron Oak, Senior 301, Harbor Valley Road, Cold, Georgia. 30577. Write me today. Tell me what's on your mind. I'm going to tell you what's on mine, okay? Come on back and see me. And uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to read you some more extension protocol, okay? <laughs> um, you know, I like it. Look at it up. You'll like it. You'll just look at it up. Extension protocol, okay? All right. Bye bye.